Josh here from JDM Right Hand Drive. Welcome to my channel on YouTube. And today we are going to be removing the crank pulley bolt, getting the crank pulley, all the timing belt off, the camshafts. I want to inspect the uh, top end of the uh, engine on the head to see if there's any damage cost to any of the bearing caps and then the uh, the bearing seats for the camshaft. Um, because I had a bunch of metal fragments in my engine. If you guys haven't followed those videos, I'll put a link up on the description of the screen. And for you guys, if you watched the first video, sorry, this has been kind of delayed. I was busy last week going to Week Fest. If you guys haven't seen that uh, import car show, I went to downtown Seattle at the Lumen Convention Center. Um, I'll put a link on the screen for that as well if you guys have checked it out. It was pretty cool. Lots of cool cars down there. I've also made a lot of space in my shelving in the garage, so I have room when I take all my parts out. I can uh, label them and put them all um, in order so I can put the car back together in the right the right. Uh, place or the right position for everything and the wheels that used to be there I put underneath my house so I've got space out here and uh, as you guys can see this is gonna be my tactic what I'm gonna use to break the crank pulley bolt free I've got my 30 inch breaker bar and I've got the handle off of my jack so I've got like I don't know 40 inches and I'm gonna put the car into fourth gear e-brakes all the way up let's break this free Originally I wanted to have somebody push it on the brake, but I don't have that, so I'm just going to go fast. And this is a giant socket. This is a 30 millimeter, and I just put some PB blaster on that, and with putting the uh, engine into fourth gear and e-brake up all the way, it's easy to get that right off. Before I get too far on today's video, I want to thank you, uh, say thank you to everybody on the channel. I've got uh, like 240 plus subscribers this month and 60, I think 72,000 views, which is by far the most I've ever gotten. I think I'm like 3.8 thousand watch hours, so 3,800 watch hours, which is almost what you need. You need 4,000 watch hours in a, a 12 month year in order to get monetized. My channel is now doing that in a month, so thank you so much, everybody. Let's keep the growth going. I'm excited. I'm going to try to keep making good content for you guys and for the community. I don't have friends. I got family. All right, so I've got my snap on um, pulley puller on here. And there's just a couple of uh, uh, bolts that go into the front of the pulley. And you can see I can just twist this right off. It's almost off. You can see that separation. I could probably just twist this by hand on so it's not really on there all that tight. Look at that big guy. It's huge. Alright, this is ready to come off. That's a little bit better look at the tool I was using. Um, it's just a snap-on um, puller remover. And you can see you have a couple of screws, screw holes or bolt holes in there. Looks something like that. So you guys kind of get a little bit better idea of how it works. When I was pulling the pulley off, I heard a little piece of metal fall. That is this little like half moon shape thing. And I believe this is called the uh, wood rough key, if I'm correct. I watched uh, Godzilla's channel and he did his timing build a couple years ago. And that thing just basically slides in here. And that's your little piece against the uh, um, camshaft to rotate this assembly so uh, pretty basic don't lose that. All right, there was a couple of uh, 8 mil bolts one here and then one underneath here. Oh, there's one one down here too. All right now the timing cover can come off and that reveals the timing belt. Okay now I'm just gonna spin the uh, Put the crank bolt back on so I can get the engine uh, spun into time. So when I remove the camshafts, I'm not causing any damage to the pistons by the valves touching them. So now we've got the engine in TDC or top dead center. 
so the camera is not really lined up in front of it like I can see, but you guys can kind of get the point that the... So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, loosen the uh, the pulley and the tensioner and everything. And this is a good, kind of a good idea for me just to kind of see the deflection in the belt. How much tension's on it when I put it back on. And I want you guys to let me know, um, this is the HKS VCAM set up here. If you guys want me to go over all the different components of the VCAM system, let me know while I've got everything taken apart. I can show you guys kind of everything and how it works. If you want, let me know in the comments down below. See if I guys can get you guys a quick peek here on the crankshaft. So this is that little, I believe it's called a woodruff key. And that slides into that little um, opening like so. And that has to be on before you slide the crank pulley back on there. So I'm gonna pop that out for now and put it in a safe place where I'm not gonna lose it. This is a 14 millimeter socket. So this is your tensioner. I'm gonna loosen that. That takes the tensioner off the belt. And then slide the belt off. Just like that. This is a Nismo built, and you can read it the way that it was sitting on there, so I'll install it the exact same way. So I've got my uh, hex bit set out. We gotta relate, uh, remove these guys. These are uh, three millimeters. So I've already got them kind of loosened up. So we'll get this off, pull the B cam gear out. Um, we can remove the other side as well, and then we can get the cover plate off and then pull out the cams. You guys don't have a hex bit set like this. I don't know how I did all my projects I did with just Allen wrenches for all these years. I'll put a link in the description below um, from where I got these on Amazon. Best 25 bucks I've ever spent. Oh, look at that, it's a little oil seal cover. What's that rubber O-ring? Kind of cool. As you guys can see how clean my oil was. Like perfectly golden brown still. All right, next we're gonna loosen the 14 mil bolt on the V-cam. So we've got our crescent wrench here to hold the camshaft in place. This guy's just gonna pop right out super simple. And the one thing I'm noticing, like looking at this stuff, like to me that looks like metal uh, bearing material, like that black stuff, those particulates. Let me know what you guys think, but um, I'm glad this is all coming apart. Same thing on just like this, uh, like this area right here. Just like looking at that, like putting my finger in there, like that's all. Those are all metal particulates on my finger, which I'll show you. And look at that, and those, that's the same crap that was coming out of my oil pan. So this all needs to be cleaned out. This bolts are out, this comes off. And there's our timing gear. All right, and the HKS V-cam solenoid will just come right off as well. Pulls off. A few things to loosen here. All right, we're a five mil over here on this side. In order to remove this, you've got a uh, hose from the fuel pressure regulator that goes into this. And then underneath, there's another hose down here. So I've removed the, removed the hose clamp. And we should be able to pull that off. Got those. Oops. This is going to come out, go in my pile of parts. As you can see, things are coming together. I got piles of stuff everywhere, and the pile is going to get much bigger. All right, guys, so everything is pretty much coming apart. Let's see if I can get you a little bit of a look down here. It's kind of tight. Hard for me to fit my camera down here, but you can see the. Uh, Timing belt 
what is that camshaft sprocket or crankshaft sprocket gear I think that's what it's called you got your tensioner and your idler pulley there and then we got the top of the camshafts now exposed front main camshaft seals you can see and we got our HKSV cam so let's just start taking all the cam cap bolts off and then we'll just pull these out and then I'll be pretty much it for today's video. A little bit of a hiccup when I was removing um, one of these bolts on the um, exhaust camshaft side. One of them was partially stripped and I couldn't get a socket onto it. But you guys can see this one. This one was partially stripped so I couldn't get my socket on there. So I actually had to use a, tried using a wrench that didn't work. I didn't really want to pound a socket onto that and be pushing into the cam into the head and stuff like that but what I had to do was actually use a hammer and pound a socket on there which uh, hopefully didn't cause any damage I did it as gentle as I could um, but I'm gonna have to order a new one of these and this goes in my pile got all my stuff here this I'm not sure I'm gonna have to take this all apart and clean it all out because I need to get all those metal fragments out of there because you guys could see when I was removing it, there was metal, pretty much metal, uh, just little fine metal particulates everywhere in here. So um, I'm gonna start by just removing these, removing that, and we're gonna go all the way back from front to rear. Okay guys, so you can see all the cam caps are removed and I've got them all set off into the side. Everything's clearly labeled. So all the different uh, caps from one to seven all the way back. And got to do the exhaust side as well. And I'm gonna pull the camshaft up and out here in a second, but um, the only piece that's gonna remain on there is just this little V-cam um, solenoid thing. I'm not sure how that all works oil must go through there be pressurized and then come back out here into the unit I'm not sure um, yeah so let's pull this up and out all right guys so what you're gonna want to do here I kind of time lapse the first cam shaft really quickly um, but you had a couple of uh, little gold cover plates over here so once you remove those all you're gonna want to do is slowly go around to each one of the cam caps and just kind of release the tension from them slowly. That way, if there's any type of um, valve spring pressure, you can easily remove that. Um, or you want the pressure to evenly come up from the caps. That way, it's not uh, damaging the aluminum bearings. So I'm just gonna slowly go around and loosen these and pull the camera. This cam is just coming right up and out. All right guys, we've got them up and out. You can see how simple it was. Just everything came clean and looking at like the uh, the shims and stuff. I mean, everything looks pretty clean. I don't see any type of uh, damage to the head at all. And what do you guys think? This looks, looks good to me. I don't see any like striations or anything in there it looks really good to me I don't see any uh, marring or any type of stuff but I do see a bunch of that same crap that was in my oil pan up here all the metal fragments it's literally like the whole head is just covered in that crap and that dirty stuff so definitely needed to come apart Of course, I'm going to take it to a machine shop and have them look at the head. Let's take a peek at the other side. But all those bearings look good to me. Let's 
So they look good and they feel smooth. So this is kind of how I have everything laid out. So I've got my V-cam gear and my exhaust cam and I've got all the cam caps laid right next to them. And all the hardware, it's all labeled, it's all numbered, it's all in the right order. So I'm going to clean all this stuff off and then when it's ready to go back on, I can easily just, you know, reassemble it back into the engine. Let's turn over a couple of these cam caps. Oops. So let's look a, take a look at these. These look nice and clean. I'm not seeing really uh, any damage. I do see like like lines and stuff in there, but um, to f feeling them by hand, I don't feel anything on there. They feel smooth. So I'm happy with these. And looking at the the camshafts themselves on the actual like where the cam caps are going, I don't see any damage to any of that. So I think uh, we got lucky here. And I'm, I'm pretty happy with what I'm seeing. You guys let me know. I've never uh, had like engine failure or any, had to rebuild any type of engine before, but this this all is all looking good. So I'm, I'm happy with what I'm seeing. Hey guys, let me know if you uh, want me to talk more in depth. I can do a quick video on the NZ wiring trigger kit. I could also do a video of the V-cam, how it all goes in, how it's all plumbed, and I could talk about that. If you guys are curious about that, let me know. But uh, I'm going to head inside. I'm going to edit this video. I want to get it uploaded to my channel. And uh, thanks for watching. If you guys made it this far, give the video a thumbs up if you found anything helpful. And uh, leave me some comments down below, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Bye.